Hello boys and girls. Today is day 14. And if you look at our eggs over here, they are organized by weeks. So this was week one, the first seven eggs. Week two, and today we're going to see the last egg for week two. And then you see that we still have one more week to go through. And I'm going to refer right now to a book that we read some time ago. I'm going to go to day 14. And as Matthew is showing you egg 14, go ahead, Matthew. I'm going to read, reread what it said. The chick is tightly curled inside the egg. It turns to lie on its side. As the chick uses up more and more of the yolk and albumin, the waste bag expands. The chick has grown a special bump on the end of its beak. This is called the egg tooth. So this impo important information tells us that today already the chick has its egg tooth and that egg tooth is going to help it break out of the shell when it's time to hatch. Okay, I'm going to set this book aside and today I have another book for you from the series of uh, Big Chickens and we've read already Big Chickens. We've read Big Chickens Fly the Coop and today we're going to read Big Chickens Go to Town. Now just as, just as the other two books, this this book also was written by Leslie Halakoski, illustrated by Henry Cole. And this book was published by Dutton Children's Books, an imprint of Penguin Group Incorporated. And it was the same for the two previous books that I shared with you. Big Chickens Go to Town. One sunny day, four big chickens found a bag of chicken feed in the back of the farmer's pickup truck. They picked, pecked, and poked at the bag, trying to get it open, when suddenly the farmer started up the truck and drove away from the farm. Four petrified chickens peeked out of the back of the truck. Oh, oh, said the chickens looking around. This doesn't look like our farm. What if we never get home again? What if we fall out of the truck? What if we can't get this bag open? The lily liver chickens shivered and quivered. Long feet, tires swamped, hidden cargo thumped, feet suck busted, tailgate rusted, grain spilled, cheeks filled, eyes crossed, until... The truck tossed the chickens out and they plopped safely to the ground. Four pummel chickens followed the trail feed to find a strange street. Uh-oh, said the chickens. This doesn't look like the road on our farm. What if we can't get across? What if we get separated? What if we get flattened? The chickens bald, squalled, and caterwauled. Rainy necks curved, rushing traffic swerved, gullets wheezed, bodies squeezed, horns honked, heads bunked, toes scritched until at the last. The lights switch colors and the chicks cross the street. Four peckish chickens follow the trail of feet to find a strange smell. Oh, oh, said the chickens. This doesn't smell like the food on our farm. What if we don't like it? What if we can't swallow it? What if we throw up? Oh, the 
chickens red stretch and quetched. Bustling waiter strips, sidewalk tables flip, chicken stood, napkin shoot, food swirled, legs drove, belts flopped until at last. Oh boy, where do you think they are right now? What are they doing, these silly chickens? Food dropped into the chicken's mouth and they ate every crumb they could find. Four persnickety chickens followed the trail feed to find a strange noise. Uh-oh, said the chickens. This doesn't sound like any noise on our farm. What if our eardrums burst? What if our brains turn into mush? What if we shake something loose? The chickens jerked, quirked, and berserked. Twitching tools, toes twiddled, flying fingers fiddled, gizzards rocked, eyebrows cropped, feet jumped, cords slammed, notes played until at last. Chickens swayed and they danced until they were themselves out. Four pooped chickens followed the trail of feed to find a group of strange animals. Uh-oh, said the chickens. These don't look like any animals on our farm. Ooh, what if they don't like us? What if they're mean? What if they eat all the food? The chickens blubbered, gubbered, and gibber jubbered. Shouting voices wobbled, flighty locals bubbled, running feet flumped, startled bellies bumped. Crowds rushed, toes crushed, hearts stuttered until at last. Wings flattered, and the chickens followed the pigeons to safety. Four plucky chickens looked around and sighed. Oh, what are we going to do now? asked the chickens. We're lost. We're tired. Oh, we're hungry. It doesn't look like we'll ever get home. was gone, the chickens huddled together. The sky grew dark, the chickens cuddled closer, the pigeons flew away, and the baffled chickens looked around to find <gasps> themselves standing on an empty feed bag in the back of the farmer's pickup truck. We're saved, cried the chickens. The chickens skipped, tripped, and flipped. They flopped, dropped, and plopped. They laughed, cried, and deeply sighed. Oh, we can go home now, said the chickens. And they settled down in the truck. The city is full of strange noise. The city is full of strange food. The city is full of very strange animals. Yes, said the chickens. Maybe we can come back again soon. And four pummel, peckish, persnickety, pooped, plucky chickens slept peacefully all the way. Boys and girls, I'm challenging you to try to find out what these vocabulary words mean. What does it mean when the author said pummeled chickens?
what does the author mean when he says peckish, persnickety, pooped, hmm, plucky chickens slept peacefully all the way home. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me again today and I will see you again on day 15.